Hi, welcome to this CAD Masters video on the creation of simple families in Revit. Um, today we're going to create a table together. So when you begin a, the creation of a new family, the first thing you'll see is the template selection window. And it's really important to select the proper template for the kind of family you want to create um, because it'll come with uh, proper work planes and stuff to help um, ease the creation of your family. To show you the principles, I'm just going to create a box and I'll use the furniture template for that. So furniture, say open. Now we'll notice that our ribbon is a little bit different when we're creating a family than it is when we're just working in Revit itself. And that's because it obviously isn't serving the same function. Also notice that I have two reference planes already drawn in my drawing area. I create kind of a cross, which gives me an origin. And which plane you create stuff on is really important because when you place your family into your drawing, uh, the creation planes will affect how it's placed down in your drawing. So let's create a box. I'll use this extrusion button. And I'll just create a rectangle. I'm not going to be real specific about uh, the dimensions yet. I'll click finish edit mode. So I've created a three-dimensional box, but we want to have some control over the dimensions of this box. We also want to keep it centered about our insertion point. So controlling those dimensions is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to use one of my measure tools on the ribbon. I'll use an align dimension. And I'll just dimension from one side of my box to one of these reference lines and continue to the other side. And it is important that you do that all in one step. Don't make two separate dimensions, but just click three times to create the dimension. And the reason for that is that when you do it this way, you can set those to be equal, which kind of centers it about that reference line. Repeat that process on the other side. And again, set it equal. So those dimensions I've just created will actually center my box, um, but I still need to create dimensions to control the size of the box. So again, I'll create a dimension, a horizontal dimension, and a vertical dimension. And these are just single dimensions, not doubles like the first ones we created. And I'll go into an elevation view to see the height of my box. And I'll just give that one dimension as well, so I can control the height. I'm going to go from the reference plane to the top. And we need to create some controls for these um, dimensions so that we can control the actual numerical values. So I'll go up to this Family Types button on my ribbon. It's under the Properties panel. And if I click on that, it's going to allow me to create uh, new family types, which will basically be, I'll have like a 2x2x2, two by two by two, maybe a 5x5x5 five by five by five box, and parameters. So let's do that. Now let's create a couple family types. Um, for the first one, I'll just say 2x2x2. Um, two by two by two. And I'll make another one that is 5 by 5 by 4. I'll make it only 4 high. Say OK. Now I want to add some parameters. I want a width. And I want a height parameter. And a length parameter. I'm going to choose my family type as 2 by 2 by 2, and I'll set all these values to 2. Okay. I'm also going to lock them. You might notice that if you don't lock them when you go back in and you assign these to the actual dimensions, uh, it might start changing these values. Um, and then for my 5 by 5 by 4, I'll have my height be 4, and 5 for my other two values and I'll say OK. Finally, I need to assign um, those values. So to do that, I select my dimension and the properties. I go to the label, and I say I want this to be the height. Okay. Then I go back to my um, floor plan. I'll select these dimensions and change those as well. So length there. and width there. 
then I'll simply save this family and I'll bring it into a, a project. So I've opened up a, a new project and I just placed a desk down in there just for some reference and size. And now I'm going to go ahead and insert my box. I've already brought the family in. So I'll click on component. Here you can see I've got box so I can put my 2x2 two two in. I could change that to a 5x5x4. Five by five by place that down. So there's the family we just created, the box. I can always select one and um, change it to the other type. So now let me kind of break apart for you how you would create a table. So I've already created one and we'll kind of look through it together. So here's a floor plan view of a family that will create a table. Um, it looks really complicated. You see I have a ton of dimensions. But you also notice that a lot of them are just equal dimensions. So these are made to center the top of the table. Um, these two equal dimensions center my legs. I've got dimensions um, on each leg, two dimensions on each leg, but they all have the same label assigned, leg dim. So I can actually have eight different dimensions uh, with only one label assigned, therefore only one value controls the dimensions of all my legs. Now both the legs and the top of this table are extrusions, just like we did with the box. And then let's go in and look at one of the elevations to look at the dimensions there. As you can see, this is a lot more simple. Uh, we have a, a thickness for our table, and it has an assigned label. And we also have a, uh, a height for our table. And the other thing you do is, once you've created this extrusion for the top of your table, you can just move it up to the top of these legs, um, and it'll automatically kind of connect if you drag it and drop it to the right place. And therefore, when you change the height of your legs, it'll also change the height of your the bottom of your top of table. So let me show you what this table looks like when I bring it into my drawing. So here I brought my table in, and I'll just click on the component button on my home tab. And there's the table. Put down a couple. And we can change the size of this table to 7 by 3.5. And there you can see, simple, change the dimension of my legs, um, the height of my table, and the width and length. And this is, again, real simple. So I hope this helps you to get started on creating some simple families in Revit. Um, once you master this, you can start exploring more of the, the in-depth, advanced details of families. Um, this video is made by CAD Masters. Please look at some of our others and see if they can help you with anything else.